Welcome back uh, to your second week of LODs. This is that time for you to think about what your day is going to look like. Whereas the, the vigil in the morning is kind of about just listening for God, this is where you start kind of planning. Planning what your day is going to look like, what you want it to be like, the, the pieces of what you are going to do and how God will be moving in the midst of all of that. And to more or less wrap it up a little bit in a prayer. Uh, so I'm going to give you some time for some silence now. And so I invite you to, to think about what your day will be like. Uh, think about how you can invite God in, not to just fit into the cracks or the in-between times, but how God can be involved in all that you are doing today. And then to wrap that up with a prayer, uh, a prayer uh, of gratitude, a prayer of welcoming, uh, a prayer of anything that you might be worried about today. And then after you have uh, had that prayer time, we'll move on to reading our psalm. So take that time now. We continue with our reading uh, from the book of Psalm. Uh, before this, this lauds uh, gets its name from the three last Psalms, uh, 148, 149, 150, the laudet uh, Psalms. Um, and they eventually became all the Psalms. And so you're encouraged on these uh, days at these times to pick a Psalm. And so last week we did Psalm 1, and this week we're going to do Psalm 2. And, but really, you can read any one that you like. We're just trying to give you a, a glimpse of how easy it is to do this prayer practice, uh, whether you're doing it on a daily or weekly practice, uh, basis. So let's read Psalm 2. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill, I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's wheel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, with trembling, kiss his feet, or he will be angry and you will perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all who take refuge in him. We'll finish now with the words that Zechariah spoke in the beginning of Luke. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. This concludes our Lod's early morning service. I pray that your day will be a day of meaning, of purpose, and we'll meet back together around noon 
uh, even if things don't go as planned. So we'll welcome you back for our noon prayer. Thanks for joining us this morning.